This is Vitaly, real estate broker, and George, attorney at law. We're here to discuss when you buy investment property, was, is it better to keep it in your own name, put it in an LLC, or open up S Corporation? And George will discuss this from a legal perspective. Okay, George. All right. So you either just bought a house or you're planning on buying a house as an investment. So, chances are people are telling you to put in an LLC, you gotta put in an S Corp, you gotta do something to avoid liability. So the first question we have is, why would you wanna put your property into an S Corp or a limited liability? And the simple answer for that is to avoid liability. It's kinda of like in the name, limited liability. Um, so, let's say you buy a piece of property and you put that into a corporation or an LLC. That property, that asset is right here. All your other assets are in this side of the corporate veil, wall, whatever you want to call this. So your house is here, all your assets are there. If something happens in the future and there's an issue with this property, you file, somebody files a lawsuit against this LLC or corporation, you got this wall protecting your personal assets from assets of this corporation. So the purpose of, or purpose of this company, so the purpose of the LLC or the corporation is simply to protect your personal assets from being taken if somebody loses, if somebody sues your company. So that takes us to the next question. What should you do? Should you go with an S Corp or a corporation or a limited liability company? Um, we'll define them first. First, we have a, a corporation. Corporations have been around forever. And an S Corp is basically an or corporation where you have elected to be treated as an S Corp. And if you don't make that election, you get taxed twice. You avoid double taxation. The corporation pays taxes, they distribute dividends to the owners, and then the owners pay uh, taxes on the dividends. So you create the, you take that sub S election and then you avoid the double taxation, you only pay taxes once. Now, whenever you have a corporation, there's a lot of corporate formalities that you have to have. You have to have a board of directors, you need to have meetings, you have to make sure you follow all the rules to the letter. Um, as opposed to a limited liability company, which is uh, a newer concept. It hasn't been around as long as corporations. Corporations have been around forever. Limited liabilities, they came around and became popular somewhere in the 90s. And with a limited liability company, you're for tax purposes, you're basically treated as if the company doesn't exist unless you elect to have it exist. So you've got simpler tax, it, um, tax matters and you've got the wall here. You've got the wall that's gonna protect you from liability. So what's better? Um, certain situations, if you talk to your accountant, they might tell you that uh, an S Corp is better for tax purposes, but that's only in very limited situations. Usually not the case when you're buying investment property. So in my opinion, flat out, just the simplicity of an LLC makes it worth it. The cost is about the same. And you're gonna. Do you mean the cost to open up? Yes, the cost to open mm -hmm. up and the cost each year is about the same. It's not gonna be that much different. And you don't have to follow all these rules because you want to make sure you do it right. 
And you want to make sure that once you create this company, no one's going to be able to get it, go around this law that you created. And if you have simpler rules, a whole lot simpler to make sure that wall is solid. So that's my opinion. So my basically, opinion. the way I understood by listening to you, if you're a first time investor, you don't really have that much experience. So the for first properties, we would recommend to open up LLC. If you're a seasoned investor, you have a lot of different companies, then the best thing to do is to talk to your tax advisor and based on your situation, tax advisor can then advise you what is better for you to open up another LLC or have a corporation and etc. So, but uh, for simplicity of it, if you're just starting an investing business, um, LLC would be better. Am I, did I understand it correctly? Yes, that's correct. LLC is better in almost all the situations. Yeah, unless it's... Yeah, like unless you said, you're a seasoned, experienced investor, you have a lot of different stuff going on. Yes. Okay, well, if you guys have um, further questions, give us a call and we'll be happy to answer. Bye. Bye, thanks.